Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome and thank you for joining us today at this groundbreaking ceremony for the Gold Rich Mines new, new 10 million tons per year processing plant expansion project. It's an honor to have you all here as we mark this significant milestone together. Thank you all for visiting us and, and your support. My name is Feng Huan Li, the moderator of today's ceremony, and it's my great honor to host you through the ceremony. 尊敬的各位来宾、女士们、先生们，大家好，欢迎大家莅临今天的金岭金矿新建一千万吨年选厂开工庆典大会。我们齐聚一堂，共同见证这个意义非凡的时刻。感谢大家的光临和支持，我是
that by your Holy Spirit you will lead and guide in the details of every activities that will come afterward, O God Almighty. Father, I pray, O God, that uh, as we take this milestone to come and to witness this occasion, it is our prayer, O God, that in every operations that will happen in this place, we will permit him, O God, for the safety of the workers here, the wisdom and the knowledge for the management of this place, O God Almighty. So, Father, may your presence and may you continue to be with us, O God, to this occasion as we pray and ask this in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Bishop, for your blessing. Let's first welcome Mr. Walter Nelson, Chairman of Gold Ridge Community Investment, Director of GML, to deliver the welcome speech. We uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm sorry, I'm just here. So, I was a chief blogging and come and talk to your hand today. So, I have a good day. Honorable Prime Minister, thank, thank you for your time. Thank you for the. Uh, I know the, there is a busy schedule in Parliament. I'd like to thank you for moving that special motion yesterday. Thank you so much for attending this uh, ground breaking. Honorable Premier, the great now province with the Atu, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, Minister for Mines, uh, thank you. And your Permanent Secretary, Minister for um, Finance, the Deputy Prime Minister. Minister of Fishery, former chairman of uh, the Gorridge uh, project over the years. Honorable uh, uh, um, member of the East Correct now, Honorable Sovosia, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, chairman of the Cantons and Associations uh, uh, making Gorridge project. The district is uh, obviously delegates. Members of Parliament, members of the Provincial Assembly, chiefs, youth, women leaders, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to Solomon Island. I to I share the same matches when it was the first groundbreaking. The gold rich is Solomon Island. This is where King Solomon found the gold. And Madonna made the announcement the name. So welcome to Solomon Island. It is a great honor for me to stand here again in front of you all, Mr. Chris uh, leaders, and deep appreciation that we welcome the Honorable Prime Minister and your ministers in this land, landmark occasion. The launch of this project, most important announcement in the history of Solomon Island in the mining and mineral sector development. It is truly a milestone moment for the nation in the mineral sector. The boom steps forward is our journey towards economic development, contribution to national progress. This achievement has not only made possible through unity and partnership. I want to especially acknowledge and thank the 17 tribes that made up of Gorich land. You generous allow, generously allow your land to be used for development since 1996. 
to this day. Your vision, trust, and generously are the foundation upon which this project stands. You are not only allowing your land for investment development, you are investing in the future of Solomon Island as a nation. To you, the government and all stakeholders, your support and guidance and agreements are essential to achieve Goldrick's project to a world-class mine three years, three years time. Not only today, but every step of the, the way, we need an ongoing government and stakeholders' commitment to ensure that the right policy, infrastructure support, technical support, and budgeted support was put in place. We need the achievement to active an engagement of the stakeholders to bring the immersion, expertise, and accountability of this project. And we need a continued support of the 17 tribes who made up of COVID's project. Only through strong partnership and understanding, we can unlock the full potential of this project and to ensure it delivers long-term benefits for our people especially in the areas of employment, social development, community infrastructure, and national revenue support. Honorable Prime Minister, your presence here today, and the Honorable Premier, sends a clear message that this government is committed to build a future where no one left behind. It gives us hope and confidence that we are heading in the right direction. Today, we gather to witness a realization of one of the most important investments in, the, in this nation's history. The initiative to stand as a true milestone in development journey. This project is not just a symbol of economic growth, but is a testimony of vision the visions that everyone has. Religion and partnership that we will continue to drive our country forward. Your present Prime Minister and the Premier reaffirm government, your government's commitment and willing commitments to economic development in investment support. And the empowerment of people to business partnership. It is a powerful reminder that when leader meets opportunity, great things happen. To you, Mr. Gao, my brother and business partner, thank you so much for the trust that you have placed on us, your local partner, your confidence and belief in our shared vision are what we what give us the strength to keep moving forward. It is the trust that fuels the diminution and driving spirit of success. I am proud to stand beside you over the years with, during the difficult times as a friend and as a business partner on behalf of the 17 tribes that made up of COVID. Our value investors and overseas guests that you are here in Solomon Island, thank you as well. Your support has brought us this far, and we do not take it as a grant. Together, we believe that through the collaboration, the mutual commitment, and understanding, we can build something stronger and lasting. I also want to take the opportunity to assure you that our mining operations are progressing well with the knowledge and technical know-how that our staff uh, has on ground. Let me finally end by calling all stakeholders <coughs> and making some appreciation of those people who uh, helped this project achieve. Honorable Prime Minister, thank you so much.
for your time. You visited here with your Minister of Foreign Affairs, now as a Prime Minister, twice. And thank you for the time. I think you and I went to UK to start this project a long time ago. Uh, without us negotiating the project, it won't start. So I thank you for, for that. The um, now Honorable Minister of Fishery and former Chairman and Minister of Mines, thank you so much for your time and support, your commitment uh, to move this project forward. The Honorable Premier, I, I thank you and your government for the understanding how we work together. And Minister Mines, uh, your short time and uh, we really work together with you. We, uh, uh, in the sense of what we are going to do. Family Secretaries are uh, here, thank you. And I can uh, make mention to uh, Dr. Chris and uh, uh, SPM. Uh, they are uh, the beginning of the patient who starts this project from the start. Uh, when we go through difficulty, these guys are uh, the patients that uh, help this project. And um, I, I forgot uh, one important patient here that I like to mention, the Governor of Central Bank. You are the one who will be investing into this uh, project, uh, financial uh, announcement today, that you will receive about $1.2 uh, billion each year for revenue. So that, Minister of Finance, I know you will. Uh, you will give me another MOU for, uh, for tax exemption for, for doing that. Um, th thank you. So I, I like to uh, leave you with uh, two more uh, statements. One, uh, to make this project successful, let me uh, make this um, announcement. I like to repeat myself to you 16 and 17 tribes of Gorich and chiefs of Malango, Bahomea, Suta, Koyhoto, Kolobisi, North Goreknao, and everyone surrounding. I like you as of today, please ask your good people, your good Christian people, to leave the mining fields. I, I beg you, the chupu that I presented up there is for this purpose. The Minister of Fishery, uh, the former chairman, we presented almost 100 chupu before, yeah, uh, to present. So I appeal to you, again, as another paramount chief, uh, to tell your tribe members to leave the pit as of 24 hours as of today, so that we can achieve what we are going to announce today. I also ask the... Um, People from other provinces and people from part of Correct now um, that you are in the pit and your leaders are here, I ask again please, ask your good people to leave the pit. 